Hi there, I'm Josh. Thanks for joining me as I dive into the core features of screen management inside Fugo. Let's get started. Once you've signed up for Fugo, you're going to want to pair a screen and get testing right away. So navigate to your screens page and click create screen. Fugo runs on most consumer and professional hardware, including popular media player devices, smart TVs, tablets, and more. If you've already got your hardware, you can jump to our help center from here to find the installation guide for your specific device. And if you don't have any hardware yet, you can test Fugo using the Chrome browser on your laptop or PC. Once you've installed and launched Fugo on your device, you'll take the pairing code displayed on the screen and enter it here. Make sure to give it a name and location. Your screen is now live on the screens listing page, where each screen in your account will be listed as a screen tile. Each tile has your screen's name, activity status, any current playlists that are showing on the screen, and its location. You can use the three dot menu on the right of each tile to group your screens and remove them from your account. Because you might have multiple screens, we've made it easy to sort and filter them, or to search a screen by name to find it quickly. You can also toggle on and off the map view if you've got multiple screens in nearby locations and you want a bird's eye view of their status. Click the name of a screen tile to open a more detailed summary of that screen. The dashboard tab will give you a rundown of all the basic information for your screen, including its player platform and a live playback preview. You can also control its orientation, restart your screen, monitor storage, CPU usage and memory, and see additional technical details at the bottom. The Playlists tab shows all of the playlists currently running on this screen, and gives you the option to interleave them if you need to with a simple toggle command. If there are no current playlists, you can jump straight into creating a new playlist from here. The Activity tab will show you historical logs of the activity of this screen. Handy if you've got multiple users in your account and need to see anything that's been going on with your screens. The final tab is the Settings tab, where you can edit a variety of settings like the brightness, orientation, and video codecs, if supported by your player platform, enable kiosk mode, and control whether Fugo boots on screen startup. Fugo's screen grouping feature is handy for coordinating updates to all or a subset of screens in your account with a few clicks. It allows you to perform actions on multiple screens simultaneously, such as publishing content and moving screens between groups that you manage. That's it! Thanks so much for watching, and make sure to check out our Help Center for more friendly guidance using Fugo.